Oh, good morning here at the uh, Cincinnati number two tool and cutter grinder. Okay. Oh, get a little oil to those spindle bearings. Now, this is an older machine that takes oil, and the spindle bearings are still good, you know. Sometimes, uh, modern machines with grease spindles, the uh, grease dries up, but this you can oil it. And the bearings are good. All right. So what I got going is I'm going to grind this tool here. I was digging through my junk looking for a left hand uh, quarter inch shank tool to use in the tree head. Here's the, the tree head uh, tool holder. Got a taper here so it works in the uh, in the head, I'll show how that is. Then a quarter inch shank uh, tools go into these slots. So anyway, I found this <laughs> this beat up tool. Let's see if I can get the edge here. Got a good chip in it, and uh, I could set this up uh, pretty carefully uh, in the cutter grinder and the vise and angles and all that. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna take care of it by hand. And uh, I, I put this little uh, piece of steel in there. Got a bevel here so I can tilt it and get it close to the wheel. So I got the head here set about uh, three and a half degrees. So I can set this kind of like that. I get it pretty close to the wheel. I think that'll be kind of nice. Hold on, let me crank it over a little bit. Okay, move it a little closer. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Just like that, I'll snug that in. And uh, I'm going to um, grind the uh, top of the tool and get that chip out of it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, get that wheel going. <laughs> Let me dress it real quick with this stick. You can see that uh, diamond kind of brighten up a little bit. Okay. Can I get that up there? Oh, get my fingers in a good spot. Oh! Getting closer. Still got a little bit of a chip there. Yeah, I'm going to back this off. And I'm going to set about 7 degrees here. Get that pretty tight. Let's get some garbage back here on it. There we go. Right about there. I'm gonna get back here and work here a little bit better. 
what I did by hand there. So I'm going to take it to the lap here. I'm just going to start working the top. I get to keep that in the, uh, in the camera's view. Okay. Sometimes I think uh, just doing it by hand like that is really qu saves quite a bit of time rather than uh, rigidly clamping this in there. You see, I'm starting to get that uh, right to the edge. That's all, that's all it really needs to be done. Now this tool here I'm putting in the tree head and I'm going to cut that taper on the back of that uh, little Cushman chuck. Yeah. This is uh, a worn-out a worn easy lap. And uh, you can buy these at the, at the hardware store. And after they get worn, um, they get really fine and, and they're good for this. So you can buy a new one and sharpen all your tools, all your garden tools, <laughs> and wear the diamond almost all the way off and you'll have one like this. I actually have two. See, there's a little dip there, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna take very shallow cuts. So I'm just polishing that carbide down. We're getting very close, I think. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go. But I tell you what, this, uh, I look at my videos and I got all this crap under my fingernails. You can see the stuff that I do here. <laughs> Dirty. I kidding you. I got my hands submerged in oil or something. Uh, the worst is brake fluid. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to just touch all these edges here. This is uh, all I could find for a left-hand tool on, in that size. But you can see it's starting to get... Uh, I'm starting to pull that uh, just to a nice look there. I'm going to work the three sides of this. Yeah. It's getting there. Okay. 
But um, the cutter grinder here is uh, really kind of nice to do uh, delicate hand grinding with, with a little rasp like that. I just do all kinds of stuff uh, with this machine. Um, it pretty much uh, eliminated uh, a bench grinder. Though I have bench grinders. Uh, let's see, I don't have one in the shop right now. I can pretty, mu pretty much use this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get that uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to give it a bit of a radius here. And the, the depth of cut's going to be very shallow. See, it's getting quite sharp. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see, see the line I'm looking at here. Getting out just a small radius right, right um, through the tip of that carbide. Just keep